Hello, my name is Stephanie Marianne, and this video post is entitled Escape into the Future. Two thoughts around fear are bubbling to the surface, one to do with circumstance and the other a glimpse of a reactive coping mechanism. I've long since given up comparing challenging events on my personal Richter scale, but this current circumstance, it's singular. It holds within it notions of destiny, the meaning of life as I see it, the greatest possible fulfillment, and more. Were I to mark it, it would register as a 10 on such a scale. Naturally, with that much weight, it's evoked fear in equal measure. I noticed that when confronted by my unique earthquake, there was at first an eerie calm. Then came an overwhelming sense of loss. I worked to remind myself of what I know. All is happening as it should. There is growth in everything. And most importantly, the only way forward is to accept and open to the fear, and thus move beyond it, to surrender, to expand rather than contract. I also knew I needed to remain fully present. I thought, and that is a clue, because it came from the place where such coping mechanisms exist, namely the mind, that I was handling things well. I thought. I found myself drifting off when I was feeling overwhelmed with sadness. So natural was this at first I didn't notice it. When I did see it, my mind jumped in, rallying the troops of excuse to defend. A little fantasy escape into the future of looking forward does no harm, etc. I was projecting myself many months ahead, planning what will come. You may be reading this wondering what harm could that possibly do. This is what I realized, though. When faced with such painful sadness, and that's another layer of fear, the sadness that masks fear, I felt out of control, naturally. A mechanism that I recognized as old in terms of my life clicked into play as I now, now know it has done many, many times before. If I couldn't control this circumstance, I could plan, read control, things that lie ahead. It was no different than the cigarette for the smoker. It immediately calmed my mind. So I did what I must. I closed the door to my mental projections and did some excavating instead. What I found has profoundly revealed me to me and this gem of truth. Nothing belongs to us. Every moment of our lives is in flux. We are flux. When we try to block the flow of this beautiful stream with fear, control, or even dwelling long and deep in sadness, we also block our potential to grow. We attract more fear, as I did, whether openly or in disguise, and we add weight to our journey. Now I'm going to leave you with a cone. A cone is a paradoxical riddle used in Zen Buddhism to demonstrate the inadequacy of logical reasoning and to pro provoke enlightenment. How is it that by not being able to control anything, we control everything?